Is the MonsterVerse better with realistic, grounded movies, or is it better with fun and wacky movies? Turns out a lot of people are upset with the new fun and wacky tone of the Godzilla X Kong movie. People don't like the fact that Godzilla is now pink. They don't like the fact that the movie is all vibrant. They don't like the fact that these creatures aren't as big or they don't look as big as they used to be and they don't move like huge titans. And I want to talk about what would seem like a realistic expectation from this movie and what isn't a realistic expectation of this movie. The other day I was speaking with a coworker asking him if he's caught up on all the MonsterVerse movies and if he enjoyed Godzilla vs Kong. And he said he didn't watch Godzilla vs Kong because it seemed too wacky and after King of the Monsters he didn't really follow up with any of the MonsterVerse movies. And I know everyone gets so fucking mad at me when I say this, but I genuinely think that King of the Monsters is the worst entry, and I understand where he's coming from on that point, but I didn't particularly hate King of Monsters. I thought it was just missing some key elements, but the humans by far were the worst I've ever seen the humans in King of the Monsters. Like, there were so many things wrong. They kind of bitched Rodan. I, I wish Rodan had some more justice in that movie, but he really didn't. He just got clapped like a standing ovation by even Mothra, which is crazy to me. Either way, I do think King of the Monsters was the worst representation for a wacky fun Godzilla movie in the MonsterVerse. It wasn't bad, it just was the worst representation. And to be real, it actually wasn't too wacky. It was actually kind of grounded. It was, it was probably more so on the grounded side than wacky side, but it was kind of split down the middle perfectly. But then we have the other side of the fandom that really enjoys the wackiness of Godzilla X Kong The New Empire and enjoys the wackiness of Godzilla versus Kong. They like the direction that they're going. They like the unlimited possibilities of the future of the MonsterVerse, which is really cool. Now me personally, I don't think either one of these sides are necessarily wrong. I don't think it's wrong if you want the Monster verse to be more serious and grounded because it makes sense and i don't necessarily think that the fun and wacky side is bad either i love the variety of both sides now let's go over some points why people want it to be serious and grounded godzilla 2014 was an amazing film it really set the pace for the monster verse and it made sense why people wanted everything to stay just like godzilla 2014 kong skull island was an amazing movie it was more on the grounded side i understand why people want it to be like that as well it's more of like a big creature feature king of the monsters wasn't great so i can understand why that turned people away from the wackier side also a bunch of people complaining about how Godzilla was just too fast in Godzilla vs. Kong. He was running, jumping, all of that stuff. I personally agree that it didn't fit his character as well. Now him running, I don't care about that. Him jumping was kind of weird, uh, but I don't feel like Godzilla should be running at Mach 5. If he's running, it should be like a slow tank like coming towards you, not some speedy ninja, you know? So just to clarify, because I know a lot of people get mad about this, I'm not saying that Godzilla should not be running. I'm just saying that he shouldn't be running as fast or faster than any of the more agile titans like Rodan or Kong or anything like that. And some people are scared of it turning into the MCU, which I guess I understand. The only real reason why I could see it turning into the MCU is because it's kind of like mainstream now. A lot of people are talking about the MonsterVerse now, even people who didn't care about it like two minutes ago. And when something becomes popular, it could end up being ruined, of course. Due to so many fans asking for one thing and so many fans asking for another, it just kind of splits everything down in half and things aren't really focused on the actual writing or the story anymore. And those are most, if not all, the reasons why people don't want this to be more silly and more fun and wacky so let's look at the reasons why people do like the fact that it's silly fun and wacky first of all gvk was a wonderful movie of course like it had it split down the middle with the fans and stuff like that but it was a fantastic movie in my eyes it was probably the best representation of how you should have a fun wacky movie in the monsterverse it wasn't crazy wacky or crazy you know ridiculous but it was fun and i enjoyed it i had a blast in the movie theater also having the monsterverse more wacky and fun gives us more opportunities in the future to offer some new titans that we haven't seen before or even create some original titans that we haven't seen. Another thing that I really want to see is maybe like an Electro Kong, of course. A Kong with some lightning powers, that would be really nice and I feel like that wouldn't work in a realistic grounded version of the MonsterVerse. I mean, we've seen Godzilla get 15 new upgrades and I would love to see Kong get some thunder or some lightning powers. And another thing I realized is a lot of people are expecting a Godzilla Minus One type movie. Godzilla Minus One was a phenomenal, fantastic, great movie. But that does not mean that every single Godzilla movie after Godzilla Minus One has to be exactly the same. Godzilla Minus One is more so about the humans. It's about how bad Godzilla fucked up their life, and it's more of a serious drama. Godzilla X Kong The New Empire is more of an adventure movie. These movies are for the titans. It's for us to enjoy them. There's a reason why the MonsterVerse is successful so far. And I believe the answer is simply variety. I think a perfect blend between realistic, grounded MonsterVerse movies and fun, wacky roller coaster Godzilla films are honestly the perfect mix. Because Godzilla has not always been grounded. We have Godzilla from the Showa era, we have Heisei Millennium, Godzilla 2000, and people still love those movies just as much as they love the grounded serious ones. 
So I don't personally think it's a horrible thing that we have these fun, wacky movies now. What do you guys think? Are you more of a grounded Godzilla fan or a fun and wacky Godzilla fan? Comment down below.